Today, we're diving into the revitalized competition in China's smartphone market fueled by Huawei's remarkable comeback. Let's break down how the shift is reshaping the industry and what Vivo's vice president, Hu Bashan, has to say about it. Huawei's return to the Chinese 5G smartphone market is a game changer. Once a leading force, Huawei faced challenges in recent years but has now made a stunning comeback. This resurgence has significantly heightened competition, especially in the high and mid-range market segments. According to Vivo's vice president, Hu Bashan, Huawei's revival has become a major attraction for consumers. The brand's relentless focus on improving its products has drawn more buyers, shaking up the market dynamics. Bashan sees Huawei's return as the most significant shift in China's smartphone landscape this year. He emphasizes that Huawei aims to reclaim its lost market share, a goal driving its continuous efforts to innovate and capture consumer attention. In a recent discussion with the media, Hu Bashan shared insights on generative AI and its evolving role in the smartphone industry. While AI is already making waves, Bashan predicts it will take another five to six years to become a fundamental driver of the market. Currently, AI is being implemented in exciting ways like AI-powered image object removal and enhanced security features. These tools offer creative and practical benefits, impressing users and marking the first phase of AI integration in smartphones. The next phase involves deeper integration of AI with operating systems. Imagine your phone understanding your habits and anticipating your needs. However, Bashan points out that achieving this level of functionality requires significant advancements in hardware. Here's where things get tricky. The current system on chip SOC performance isn't up to the task. Bashan explains that future advancements will require chipsets with performance levels close to server-grade architecture. This leap is still about five years away, but when it happens, it could revolutionize the smartphone experience. For now, brands like Vivo are focusing on the first stages of AI integration, ensuring they stay ahead in a competitive landscape. Returning to Huawei's influence, Bashan underscores that the company's comeback is reshaping the industry. He notes that there are currently six major smartphone manufacturers in China, each striving to carve out their unique identity and development path. These brands are not only competing with Huawei, but also learning from its strategies. This collective effort will likely elevate the overall competition in the market over the next two to three years. Bashan describes Huawei's return as a variable that's shaking up the status quo. He believes the company's aggressive push to regain its market share is say a new benchmark for others to follow. As the Chinese smartphone market evolves, consumers stand to benefit the most. With Huawei driving innovation and competition, other brands are motivated to step up their game. This means better features, improved AI capabilities, and potentially more affordable options for buyers. Bashan's insights reveal that while the market is currently in flux, the future holds immense potential. As brands continue to refine their strategies and embrace cutting-edge technologies, the next few years will be pivotal for the industry. So, what do you think about Huawei's impact on the Chinese smartphone market? Are you excited to see how brands like Vivo, Huawei, and others compete in this fast-evolving space? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in tech and smartphones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.